Ask any guy on the street what their hobby is and they'll say working. Ask them what they do for fun and the answer is also working. And in their spare time, probably working. Hey Luxers, when your money is out there making money for you, you have far more time to focus on leisure and what you really enjoy doing. And while there's nothing wrong with working hard, all work and no play is no way to live your life. If you needed some incentive to start making your money work for you, then this is it, Aluxers. This is how the rich like to spend their free time. And you could soon add some more titles to your name, winemaker, real estate mogul, and sports team owner. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. Skiing there's skiing for the ordinary person, and then there's skiing for the rich. And skiing becomes a luxury hobby when you add in all the bells and whistles. The elite get to fly via private jet to the world's most exclusive and expensive ski resorts. They head to resorts that offer their guests horse-drawn carriage rides, personal wine cellars, cinema rooms, upmarket spas, golf, and gourmet meals with private chefs. It is possible to ski when you're not loaded, but you're certainly not going to get the five-star experience the rich can afford, and you won't be cutting the mountainside with the likes of the Beckhams and George Clooney. Number 2. Yachting The rich like to drop anchor in places like the Cayman Islands, Saint-Tropez in the south of France, or in Capri, Italy, where the fees to dock at Marina del Capri are between $3,000 and $4,000 a night. Just the cost of the yacht can reach millions of dollars, and then there's all the amenities, fees, staff, supplies, toys, maintenance, and fuel to be added on. To give you a good idea of what it costs to own a yacht, watch our video, The Real Price of Owning a Yacht. The rich love to partake in an array of water activities, so hobbies would include boating, jet skiing, diving, paragliding, and wakeboarding, all a lot more lavish than the body surfing, snorkeling, and bodyboarding usually done by the masses come summertime. Number 3. Cigarette Boat Racing the super wealthy love a little thrill and competition. Loser buys the winner a new convertible kind of vibe. So a logical hobby to partake in would be to combine an expensive go-fast boat or a cigarette boat with the possibility of walking away a winner. Cigarette boats got their name because they were used by smugglers escaping authorities when smuggling contraband across borders. They're expensive toys. They cost between $500,000 and $1 million, and all supporting costs can amount to $25,000 a year. Number 4. Golf Golf has long been ranked the favorite sport by billionaires. WealthX confirmed that billionaires that were worth more than $5 billion cited this as their favorite pastime. Many of the more prestigious golf clubs can cost $300,000 just to join and an additional yearly fee of up to $29,000, as seen at the Liberty National Golf Club in New Jersey. It's a leisurely game played by like-minded individuals, a place where business contacts are made, where ideas are tossed around, and where frustrations and stress can be taken out on a little white ball. The wealthy love it because it's safe. They can easily fit it into their busy schedules, plus the added advantage of the occasional amazing shot to give them bragging rights. And Aluxers, in just a bit, we'll share the opulent, earthy, elegant, structured, and sturdy hobby that many wealthy people love to dabble in. Number 5. Sports Team Owner we all love to play sports of some kind, but when you're rich, the ante is upped somewhat. It's not enough to just play a sport when you're super wealthy. You need to be able to own an entire sports team. John Bon Jovi started his very own football league called the Philadelphia Soul in 2004. Venus and Serena Williams have stakes in the Miami Dolphins. Russell Crowe became the co-owner of the South Sydney Rabbitohs, and Elton John owned the Waterford Football Club in 1976 and again in 1997 until 2012. Number 6. Exotic Pets Exotic pets have become a commodity for the wealthy, a way to show off wealth and a hobby to pass the time. Lamborghinis and Louis Vuitton bags go hand in hand with exotic animals, and you'll often see cheetahs and tigers flittering across Tinder and Instagram. If a bear or lynx sounds a bit too tame, how about a Bactrian camel to add to your collection? So what's the big appeal for the wealthy to own exotic animals? ego, one-upmanship, and complete narcissistic behavior, because it's clear to see whose needs are coming first, right? 
Mike Tyson had tigers, Paris Hilton had a kinkajou, and Christy Alley had lemurs. We know that Justin Bieber had a capuchin monkey, who was confiscated in Germany. Bieber never produced the correct paperwork, and the monkey was given to a zoo in Hodenhagen. Number 7. Rare Collections Ultra high net worth individuals love to collect rare items, whether it's stamps, books, vintage cars, rare whiskeys, or coins, which, by the way, have risen in value by 232% in the last 10 years. To give you some examples of famous collections, Thurston Twig Smith, owner and publisher of the Honolulu Advertiser, had a serious stamp collection. His stamps have been auctioned several times, with one lot bringing in $4 million in 2009. Victor Vexelberg has the biggest collection of Fabergé eggs in the world, valued at $200 million. LeBron James collects watches, Jay Leno collects vintage cars and exotic vehicles, and Steve Cohen loves art. And we'll look at the bigger picture later on. Number 8. Real Estate it's all fun and games when it comes to real estate for the wealthy. The quick snapping up of property, ripping through it, fixing it up and selling it again with a few hundred K in profit in less than no time. Team that up with owning properties all around the globe and you'll have a hobby that's bound to keep you busy. The great thing about this hobby is when you're super wealthy, you get to make all the fun decisions and let others do all the hard work and then reap the rewards when it sells for a tidy profit. Number 9. Wines Having an extensive wine collection is just par for the course when you're part of an elite and high-earning crowd, but owning your own vineyard is where the real fun is. Vinification takes money and space to set up correctly, and time, patience, and more money. Opulent, earthy, elegant, structured, and sturdy – words the rich are getting used to using while bottling their own brand. The wealthy who are flirting with winemaking are not necessarily looking at selling their bottles of vino, but rather gifting them to friends and family and being able to say, I did it. There's a great satisfaction in producing that first bottle of wine, and it would go perfectly with the wines growing in value stored in the wine cellar. And if you'd like to see some valuable wine collections, be sure to watch our video, The Top 10 Most Valuable Wine Collections in the World. And it's not just wines gaining interest for the wealthy. Kate Hudson has her own vodka label, Dwayne Johnson has his own tequila label, and of course there's Jay-Z who owns French champagne brand Armand de Brignac. Number 10. Politics Many famous and well-known people have taken up politics as a sideline hobby. Trump, of course, being the prime example here, and look where it got him. Cynthia Nixon from Sex and the City wanted to run for governor of New York. Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor of California from 2003 to 2011, and Clint Eastwood was mayor of Carmel, California in 1986. You might refer to some political hobbyists. Many of the super-rich like to funnel money into the political campaign or person they favor. President Trump received financial backing from 80 billionaires and their partners, as confirmed by the Federal Election Commission's filings. It works out to about 9% of America's billionaires having contributed to Trump's 2020 campaign. Number 11. Horses Thoroughbred horses, polo, aka the rich game, horse racing and basically anything equestrian related is dedicated to the high earners. Horse race watching on the other hand is for everybody, but those horses that are racing at 44 miles an hour are owned by someone who is super wealthy and can afford a loss or two. The list is long of everything you need to breed thoroughbred racing horses, and the expenses can amount to millions. Prize money is rather lucrative, though, with the purse for the Kentucky Derby as an example, set at $2 million. So there are gains to be made, but as we know, it takes money to make money, especially here. Number 12. Flying when it comes to beating boredom, the wealthy seem to love taking off. Whether it's just ambling along in a hot air balloon, getting a pilot license, chartering your own flight in your own plane to your own island is something that is a reality for many wealthy individuals, and you'd be surprised to know how many famous faces can add pilot to their resume, like Angelina Jolie, Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Hilary Swank. Number 13. Art in 2017, Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci sold at Christie's auction for $450,312,500, making it the highest price ever paid for a painting at auction. The successful bidder is said to be a Saudi prince. Collecting art is a hobby that the wealthy like to partake in. High-end art is costly, and the value of each piece is always on the increase. Art is a sound investment, and the rich know this. 
Hedge fund manager Steve Cohen has an art collection valued at $3 billion, including works from Van Gogh to Damien Hirst. Many famous celebrities have extensive art collections too, including Leonardo DiCaprio and Sean Combs. Number 14. Travel being able to hop on a plane and travel anywhere is an absolute luxury. The wealthy can travel to any destination their heart desires, where they can take part in any hobby available. Whether it's deep sea diving, sky jumping, hunting, mountain climbing, or scuba diving. And it's done, five star and first class all the way. Number 15. Philanthropy Strangely and fortunately, the most favored hobby by the rich is giving money away. WealthX did research on people that were worth $30 million or more, and the results were unanimous. The most favored hobby was philanthropy. More than one-third of the wealthiest people in the world pursued charitable interests, with many having signed up their fortunes to the Giving Pledge, whereby the world's wealthiest pledged to give away half their wealth during their lifetime. Billionaire philanthropy is certainly a luxury hobby only for the rich, but don't let that stop you from doing good in your own way, because Aluxer's charity has never made anyone poorer. In fact, it does more good for the person giving than the person receiving. And now Aluxers, here we are at the end of our video. What's the first hobby you would pursue if money was no object? Where would you most likely be involved in philanthropic work? Let us know in the comments. And of course, since you stuck with us until the end and are a true Aluxer, here's your bonus. You might be thinking that half of these hobbies sound like rather hard work, so let's have a look at some rather peculiar hobbies that the rich also like to dabble in. Steve Wozniak enjoys Segway Polo. Tom Hanks collects typewriters. David Arquette loves knitting. Taylor Swift makes snow globes. Warren Buffett can play a mean tune on his ukulele. And former Twitter CEO Dick Costolo makes his own honey. How sweet. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.